Welcome back to the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and the last time we were here, I was checking off the last few items on the to-do list for the original game, bringing my completion of Spyro the Dragon up to an oh-so-satisfying 120%. I have it on good authority that that's finally full. So job well done, if I do say so myself. This time, we're starting the next phase of the playlist, where we're going to be looking at the game's first sequel, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Unless you lived in Europe or Australia, where it was released under the title Spyro 2, Gateway to Glimmer. To set the scene, this game originally came out in 1999, because back in those days, games were simple enough that you could make a sequel in just one year without it probably coming out as rushed garbage. <laughs> uh, it's, it's more third-person, dragon-y platforming action. And in 2018, to celebrate the uh, anniversary of the original game, it was remade from the ground up as part of this reignited trilogy. Now, before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. Blinder than usual, in fact, since I did all my testing in the original game, so I haven't even watched the opening cutscene yet. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. I'd also like to give a very special shout-out to my best friend, Ronan Drake, for gifting me the Reignited Trilogy. So thank you, Drake. I feel like something bright and cheery and cartoony is exactly what I need right now. So I hope you enjoy this series, because it's dedicated to you. Now, without further ado... Let's play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. Oh, I really like the way that sounds out loud. <laughs> Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs, and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? <sighs> a dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Oh. 
sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? <laughs> oh boy. Thrown into the deep end. The adventure begins! Ooh, the icons look different now. Oh my. Well, the first area is already called Glimmer, so hey, job well done, Europe. I've heard this takes place about a year after the first one, you know, in accordance with the release date. So maybe it's, uh, for the best that... Oh yeah, I should just say that right off the bat, so there's uh, no misunderstanding if you're watching this in the future when it's all just one big playlist. Uh, I finished Spyro the Dragon in March, and it is now the ass end of June. Because, uh, Control is a very long game. So, uh, yes, that would be the explanation if my, contro if my controls, if my uh, skills are suddenly in the uh, garbage. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can Sounds you familiar. stop them? Well, guess we get started! So, the dragon worlds are still safe. It's just that we've got an entirely different set of worlds being, uh... threatened by goons. Perfect. Is that a gem? Okay. Are you an enemy or no, maybe you're fodder? Sup? Oh yeah, yeah, they used to just walk up and animate at me, didn't they? Well, I think I'm at full health. Nothing's hit me anyway. Yet. I may have aced the first game, but I did not do it without getting uh, hit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, the camera is much more responsive than in the last few games I played. Oh. Oh no, it's X for. Oh god. Yes, I'm gonna need to remember the rules. Okay. I thought you charged into big guys and fire. Never mind. I'll just breathe fire in this guy and hope for the best. I don't know what that was. Oh right, no, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that in this game. Go figure. The guy with the wings is the one who can't fly. He can, however. Glide. Off you go. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, and I mentioned this back in the uh, Spyro the Dragon uh, Let's Play. There you go. But, you know, worth repeating in this section. I like how they're different shapes in this one. They're all just round gems in the first one. Generic gemstones, exactly what you think of when I, you know, tell you to picture, like, a diamond, for example. But, uh, yeah. When they remade the games from the ground up, they did it using a unified control and physics engine. Which means, among other things, that, uh, I can still do this, even though you could not do that in, uh, the original Spyro 2. Uh, I had some trouble in some of the levels in the original game. 
because the new because uh, the physics engine that they chose was one that aligned with Spyro 2 and 3. It was not the physics engine they used in Spyro 1 where you could glide a bit quite a bit further. You know, you didn't drop as fast while you were gliding. It didn't make anything impossible, but it did make a lot of the gliding challenges much more difficult. But uh, that shouldn't be the case in this one, because everything was designed for this uh, graphics engine. Graphics engine? Uh, physics engine from the word go. Hello. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she Who? asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. I had to figure that it out. means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Uh, I had to figure that mechanic out on my own in the first one, because they just have the fairies do that without explaining it. So, you know, I can appreciate that. I also like that it's a named character and not just a, you know, a series of generic fairies. I don't know who Zoe is, but she seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Immediately thought to take the magic stick away from the angry man. I like his uh, goons being named Crush and Gulp. Really sends a message. I like how unbothered this guy actually is. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. And it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. That's not even fair. I don't think I have thumbs. Oh, no, that's right. I do have thumbs. But, uh, come on, man. He's got, like, cat legs, so his knees bend backwards. How the hell is he supposed to climb a ladder? Off you go, then. So is Avalar, like, uh, just another set of worlds in the same universe? Or we need to just get magically pulled into a whole other set of someone's problems? I'm going to assume it's, uh... Just another set of worlds in the same universe. One big happy family. Because the, uh, I feel like... The only reason I'm even considering the idea that I'm in an alternate universe right now is because I've just spent three months playing Control. Ooh, that looks important. No wonder I want to get... How long have you been standing there? Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Uh -huh, no. You'll have to pay up sooner or later. It's the only way across. I have to look after my <clears throat> Avalar's financial well-being. You know. Perfect voice for that, by the way. Ah, I was hoping I could cheese it. Hmm. What's this about? Huh. Oh, that, that is the bridge, isn't it? That's why it's not touching the ground. I think it was like a skateboard ramp. Why the fuck is there like a quarter pipe here? Because they're not actually touching, so it's not a half pipe. Back again, it's two eh? quarter pipes. And with fine, of fine. Treasure, I see. You win. Would you like me to open the bridge. I won't even increase the price. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Uh, I don't take this the wrong way, but I kind of hope you're working for the bad guys. Oh, I see. Oh. Hey, Zoe. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. Remember that for well, not first person, but you know, look mode, which may have been because the PS1 did not by default come with analog sticks, 
So they needed a separate button to switch from move you around to move camera around. Right, you can't lock on to dudes in this game. I have been playing a bunch of Elden Ring since I finished, uh, <laughs> Control. So, like, if I get full, uh... Do I get up there, actually? Okay, just checking. Hmm. Well, that is weird. Thank you. Hmm. How very peculiar. What? What do you say? Still here? Why don't you help the gem cutters, and they'll show you the way to Summer Forest? That's what a deer woman was. See, when you do this, you just make me feel like an asshole. At least, the, at least the uh, the coward Norks just ran away. for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Oh, okay. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. I was not expecting it to be that easy. Again, it is the very beginning of the game. Are these guys mice, or...? Where are you standing? Is that... Uh, maybe that's what a kangaroo rat is. I've heard that term. I don't know what it means. Oh. Gem. That's how I got in here. So what's over there? I mean, that's just a wall. But there was a door here at one point. Right, okay. I have to get a lot more flamethrowery if I'm going to do that. Hello! Goodbye. I don't remember Spyro collecting the souls of his enemies, but you know, hey, it's been a year. Maybe he's gotten into some weird shit since uh, last time we saw him. Spyro, still voiced by Tom uh, Kenny. Better known as the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. He was in the original this time, so, you know, it finally lines up. I understand they actually reached out to the original voice actor to do the voice just for the original game for nostalgia purposes. I mean, in the Reignited trilogy. But the guy, you know, wasn't acting anymore, and he wasn't interested in coming out of retirement. So, you know, I think, I think, I think that's what it was. All I know, he turned them down. Let's be that specific, at least. I do remember that. This game has a tendency to throw, like, here is the exit, and you have to keep going if you want to find all the gems. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. Uh. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. I don't really, I'm not really a throwing kind of guy, but thank you anyway. What? I mean, I don't have any hands. Oh. I guess that'll work. Ah! I had a hunch. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Okay. 
Thank you for assuming I could get up there, but whatever. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. I'm just going to take a screenshot of this without context, and it'll be great. Oh, it's not working. Butts. Oh, well. I'll just have to use my uh, program instead of the Steam one that makes a funny screen uh, sound effect. You can pick up a rock in your mouth by just walking up to it. To spit it out, press the attack button. That's because, uh, of course, the... Uh... Oh, hey, you can also get there by clicking in the right stick. I don't know why I tried that. Oh, right, Elden Ring. So these guys eat gemstones? I feel like I might have a problem getting them all back. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. So I can just... But... Oop. Why can't I... There we go. Uh, that's a big hitbox. Oh. Crap, where'd he go? Is that you? I think it's fur. It's Great! Fur. The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Huh. Walk through the pyramids to trigger the Superfly power-up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm finding it very difficult to take anything called Superfly seriously. Um, light the gem lamps with your flame. Light all the lamps quickly. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wager a guess that this will feel very much like the, uh, the levels whose names ended in the word flight in the original Spyro the Dragon. Where did that guy go? Was that the guy? I wasn't even paying attention to the names. I mean, I'm pretty sure they added all the names for, uh... Reignited. Except the dragon statues you were collecting were actually dragons. They needed to be freed. Those guys had names, they just didn't have unique character models. Oh no, I have to relearn that. Butts! Alright, let's do that then. Since I don't know where that guy is. Can I get into this thing? Is that where he's gone, or is this building just painted on? No, this building appears to be just painted on. Okay, looking around. Oh, hey, look at that. Called it, by the way. Whoa! That's cool. I approve Thanks of that. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Yay! I don't know what that is, but it sounds important. You know, I get where Pyramids is coming from. But as someone who's uh, kind of a bud about words, I gotta say, those are obelisks. Oh, I can just... Not doing too bad so far, I think.
I'll have to use the power up for that. But that can wait till next time, as I do see that the uh, the timer is gone. So, uh... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. Bye, Sparks. Bye, Sparks. <laughs> Later!